welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie. I have Vivian with me today and Charlotte's here too. She's just not in the mood to be on camera. So the ghost of videos past. Yeah, she's the disembodied voice in the video. I'm the narrator. <laughs> Spirit. <laughs> this week I am going to be unboxing my first ever Thrive Market box. If you are interested after you watch this video, I will leave a link down below that will get you 25% off of your first order and it will also earn me $25 towards a future box for myself. So I'm gonna quickly sort of explain what Thrive Market is and then we'll get into it. So it's not a subscription box in that they're gonna pick items and send them to you. Although you can set it up so that it sort of sends you recurring shipments. It is an online membership based market <laughs> I'm just going to read what it's it says. It's like online Costco? Sort of, but they have, it's sort of like an online Costco. You have to pay a membership or kind of like Amazon Prime. You pay to be a member and then that gets you access to the website and they sell a lot of their items at deeply discounted rates versus what you would pay. For me personally, these items are not available at grocery stores around here. I would have to drive to a neighboring town to buy a lot of these things. Um, so there are a lot of more healthy items and things that are for specific diets. We don't have a Whole Foods in Christ. Yeah, we don't have a Whole Foods. I would have to drive probably like 20, 25 minutes each way to get to a Whole Foods. So that's part of why I wanted to get it. They sell a lot of the same cleaning products that you could get through Grove Collaborative. So I wanted to try this out and see if it could almost replace that subscription. And I can't be buying all of this stuff all the time. So I'm just trying to find a way to streamline things and get everything that I want in one place. Something cool about this website is if you have allergies or a specific diet, you can search for the items that you want based on that. And it will show you if you are doing keto, you can tell it to only show you keto snacks or if you need gluten free. So just anyone that has dietary issues or allergies, this is a great website and a great resource especially again, like I said, where we live, it's hard to find a lot of these items. So enough of my talking, feel free to use the link down below and find out more or ask questions down below and I can answer those for you. Like I could go on and on, like it's kind of complicated mm. cause you can earn money. Like if you buy certain things, it'll like earn you points towards mm. future things. And then I told it that this is gonna be a recurring shipment and it got me like an extra 20% off of everything in the box. But you can go in and like switch those things out. Like I don't have to let it send me all these things. Mm. I just have to let it send me something. Depending how we feel about these things, we might go ahead and give them a try on camera. We'll see. The first thing I got were, they have a lot of their own store brand. These are Thrive Market brand organic coconut chips and they're in the flavor caramel. I thought the girls, I thought especially Vivi really likes coconut. You like Charlotte, tolerate not. it? No, you don't like it at all? No. Like sometimes with specific flavor combinations, but yeah. just like straight coconut, no. Yeah, so I got these especially with you in mind because I know you like coconut. Do you want to try them? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Smells like coconut. I don't smell the caramel. They're a little more like crunched up than I guess I thought they would be, but I don't know how I was expecting you to get large amounts of coconut off of a coconut in one piece. But I don't think they're caramel, but they're delicious. Yeah, they're tasty. I don't get a lot of caramel. I do see that they would probably be good as a topping on like if you're making yogurt with some fruit to like sprinkle those on top and give it a little bit of a crunch. Or they say on here to add it to trail mix or put it on ice cream. So they have other flavors, which are roasted coconut chips and sea salt coconut chips. If you want that salty, sweet combination. So those are so far so good. One thing to know about Thrive Market is sometimes, depending on the price of the item, they may make you buy multiples of items in order to put them into your box. So um, I have a couple items in here where I had to buy two or I think there's one item where I had to buy four. Um, I think that's just to help them maintain their profit margins. If you're just buying something for a dollar and like expecting them to send it to you, then they're gonna lose money on the deal, so. It's like how like you go to buy like something on Amazon and it comes in like a pack of three. Yeah. Next Next up, these are skinny dipped almonds, dark chocolate cocoa. Shar, do you like almonds? Yeah. So I thought we all could probably enjoy these. I'm just trying to get some things that still feel like a treat. I'm not gonna ever say that I'm on a diet because I don't like that, but I do like where I can to make choices that are better. <laughs> are just better choices, yeah. 
So this still will feel like an indulgent treat, but it at least has protein and so it'll sort of keep you satisfied for a little bit longer and... It will hopefully be delicious. Yeah. Hopefully. They're matte. Yeah, because I think they dip them oh, in chocolate and then roll them. Ah! Okay, ah! one thing to know about these is they're not good to eat if you're like out and about because <laughs> they will leave that cocoa powder on your hands, but. My floss is on your pants. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe with a glass of milk or something. Yeah, they're very rich. Well, like a little like. Coax them out. And to me, again, I like snacks where you get a lot of bang for your buck, so I could sit down with like Seven. probably, yeah, at most six of those yeah. and feel extremely satisfied. And then it would motivate you to drink a glass of water. Yeah. They're not super, super sugary tasting, which is um, nice, which is nice. Um, but yeah, those are really enjoyable. And we have, I think, two bags of those in here. We're not going to be tasting these. They are razor <laughs> blades. <laughs> <laughs> I bought this brand of razor from Grove Collaborative, and these are the refills. Mm. Did you guys use them yet? Do you like I them? opened mine, yeah. And it was, like, like very nice. Okay. Like, very sharp <laughs> for their first use. I was, like, impressed. And, like, it's very, like, lightweight because the handle's made out of plastic. So it was a little, like, you know. Some people like a little more heft and weight, and yeah. some people don't. So, But, yeah, so I went ahead and got the refills for their razors which is nice that I can get those there I got these for Charlotte Jobs. Vivi could probably have some too if she wants these are all the stick without the ick that sounds really weird these are just they're basically classy slim gems beef stick meat, <laughs> meat. so it's these are bad. mild they have other flavors if you like them I can look for other flavors but are they that they're tall super good. they're super good they taste like actual meat are they this tall not that I remember. There, there are 10 in here, so maybe this particular one is a... I think you had like maybe snack, like some sort of like smaller size. Big chomp. I'm worried. Big ah! <laughs> And the girth! The they girth. remind me of Tony's... What long chomp? They remind me of Tony's like treat that try. comes in Bark Box. You want to try one? Okay. We can yeah. share it. Oh, it's like a cheese stick. Satisfying. Um, it tastes like salami, kind of. Yeah. Like, doesn't taste like a Slim Jim. I'll say that. It does not taste like a Slim Jim. What's Slim the Jim's, difference? I haven't eaten a Slim Jim recently. Slim Jims have that, like a lot of spices. Like yeah. The texture is more... Like, Greasy. Gooey. Yeah. It's, it's got like goop. Squishier. Mm-hmm. This is like solid. Mm. Gotcha. So, but yeah, it is good. Thumbs up on that. A nice treat. Charlotte sometimes forgets to eat <laughs> and she'll just find herself in a circumstance where she's in the middle of class and starving. And so she likes to have something like this. These are shelf stable and as long as she keeps them where the dogs can't get them, she can grab one easily. I got these for me and for Daddy. I don't know if you guys will be that excited about them. I had to buy two bags. I may or may not have opened it and eaten <laughs> one last night. <laughs> I was like, did it come open? What the heck? So these are just little small pieces of black licorice. I'm gonna try. You wanna try one? If you don't wanna eat all of that, I'll have the other half. Sure, do you want black licorice? Um, it's kind of mild. Yeah. Especially mild compared to we just had a box from the Netherlands, and the licorice in that was kind of intense. You want your own? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I know what they taste like because I cheated and opened it last <laughs> night. Yeah, they're not, and again, to me, these are a little less sweet and sugary than, like, a black Twizzler, for example. Yeah, it's so. like a like a tame jelly bean. Yeah. Not the texture of a jelly bean, the flavor of a black licorice jelly bean. Tame jelly bean. <laughs> I also had to order two of these, but I was fine with it. These are the same brand as the cocoa almonds we had earlier. You all right? Ghost. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, these are skinny dipped almonds, dark chocolate, peanut butter. So those sounded good. 
the way you said that. Sorry, I like it's chocolate and peanut butter. butter. At least they didn't have hazelnut. Can you imagine hazelnut almonds? Weird. Double the nut. Want one? I really like these ones. Yeah, I actually kind of like the chocolate ones better. They're too salty. Because of the peanut butter stuff on them, you can't really taste the chocolate. With the other yeah. ones, because they were coated in cocoa, it sort of helped intensify the chocolate flavor. That's a peanut butter, that's a peanut flavored almond. Because what they show you on the back is like, you know when you get like the fancy kinds of chocolate covered almonds, like those stores where you're allowed to go in the bulk candy? Those are coated in a ton of chocolate, and these are just sort of like barely... That's why they're called skinny dipped. So that's why it's kind of hard to taste the chocolate when it's got that much peanut butter. I mean, I will eat these. Yeah, they're fine. You're telling me that the almonds aren't naked? Right. I'm gonna go ahead and get some items over with that aren't eating. I got some vanilla extract. I've been doing some baking lately. I'm supposed to be learning to decorate cookies, but it's terrifying me for some reason. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So anyway, when I finally get around to making said cookies, I will need more vanilla extract and I thought I would see how this tastes compared to the regular stuff you can buy at the grocery store. This isn't the best for the environment, you know, it's probably better to just use spray and like a reusable cloth, but if you're just trying to make it quick and easy and get people that don't love to clean to help clean their bathroom, it's kind of <laughs> nice to have wipes on hand. I mean, don't you find it like... I don't know. I'm more rude, honestly. <laughs> I might have been talking about myself, too. I'm more inclined, if I look down and see the sink is a mess, if these are just right there under the sink, to go ahead and give it a wipe versus, like, go get all the cleaning equipment and stuff like that. So, plus they kill bacteria and viruses, so. All right, we just have, I think, three more items left. This brand, Smart Sweets, makes a bunch of different types of candies. I had trouble picking which one, and you have to pick, you have to get two when you buy them. Um, these only have four grams of sugar per bag. I don't know how that's happening. Um, I may need to double check whether these are gonna have any ill effects depending on how much you eat. Mm. Um, <laughs> the, the Amazon sugar. Yeah. Um, but these are gummy bears. They have Swedish fish. I think they have like something similar to maybe like Sour Patch. Um, I can't remember what all they have, but if we like these, I can put some other types in our future ones. Um, let me see how they're sweetened. It says, allulose is a non-artificial sweetener that is found in foods like raisins and figs. It tastes like sugar, but doesn't act like sugar in your body. That's good. It does not have like stuff in it that's going to make issues. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> They're very firm. <laughs> All right. You can definitely tell they're not as good as sugar. as sugary as a real gummy bear, but if you're a parent with a really little kid and you start them off thinking this is a treat, sneaky. I think it's fine. <laughs> We've been on a cinnamon kick lately because of Valentine's Day. I don't know. Why is it at Valentine's Day they put out more cinnamon? I guess just because it's red. Mm, it's spicy. So anyway, I, I no, saw these and I thought these would be fun. Be. These are not at all healthy, but at least they are organic and they don't have high fructose corn syrup. And the colors are vegan and plant-based. Well, the colors are vegan. They're, they're vegan, vegan and the colors are plant-based. So... Here we go. I wonder if they're gonna be like the spicy kind or just like pleasant cinnamon. Yeah. Sure, you want a cinnamon bear? Yeah. They're pretty cute. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I'm getting like retirement home. I don't know why. This is something your grandma keeps in like a little jar. In her. They taste an awful lot like those cinnamon discs, which grandmas do keep in their jars. <laughs> yeah, this something about the cinnamon and it it's is kind of dusty. Is zingy, like dusty, <laughs> but like fine. <laughs> Not as good as the 
sugar encrusted hearts. Yeah, but they're good. And the last item I got was peanut butter dark chocolate um, kind thins. So basically what I got this particular trip was a lot of snacks. snacks. Honestly, at the moment I didn't need a lot of things like flour or sugar or cleaning products because Flour and sugar I already stocked up on and I got my Grove box just a little while ago, but it is nice to know that I can get those items through this subscription. So I've watched a couple videos where people did some cost analysis and they were able to show that these items are less expensive than you would buy in the grocery store. It's just a matter of would you actually buy all this in the grocery <laughs> store? But if, I, if these are actually replacing things that I'm going to put in my cart for this week's shopping visit. Like, I don't need to get nuts and things like that because we already have them. So, just something to keep in mind as you're doing your cost-benefit analysis. As you do. As one does. Put that in your spreadsheet. <laughs> Should I let you on a piece of kind bar? No. No? Piece of mean bar only. So, so yes or no? No. Okay. These would be a good swap for what I'm currently eating for breakfast. I've been eating these bars for breakfast and these are fewer calories and will probably take me a little longer to eat. So all together, all of those items were about $50. So these are actually kind of expensive. Mm. This was $10. <laughs> That's kind of expensive. They had a promo going where I think if I met a certain threshold or checked out within a certain am amount of time, these chomp bars were free, so that was kind of what sealed the deal. <laughs> should I address why I actually wound up joining, or should yes. I not put that in the video? Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I've been looking at this company off and on for years and trying to decide whether or not to join. And um, part of what was holding me back was I think it costs like $60 to join for the year. So I just kept going back and forth on whether I would wind up saving $60 through my orders, but I think if I order through them instead of Grove, it should work out. But what finally put me over the edge was I'm scrolling on my Facebook as as you do, and they Thrive had done a post about Black History Month, and they were highlighting specifically some of their vendors that are Black-owned businesses, and the graphic just said, support Black-owned businesses. The hate and the vitriol and the disgusting humanity that was going on in the comment section under that post was so I was so enraged <laughs> that I in that moment was like that's it I'm joining because <laughs> all these people were like I'm unsubscribing from you or I'm quitting my subscription and all this stuff and I just was like nah I'm gonna support this company and I went online and they do have like right on their front page right now you can look at their different vendors that are black owned businesses and look at what products they have available on their pages and things like that so I mean, you use them. these are all like bigger businesses mm. I did look they were things like that I we didn't need right yeah now. that I didn't need right now like soaps and things mm. like that so I think one was like spices mm. um, Again, I have everything I need, but as I need things, I'll try and make an effort to look at the businesses that are more independently owned and operated or su support minority owned businesses as well. So anyway, I just wanted to support them because I felt like they were doing what they thought was right as a company and I didn't like that people were being so nasty about it. When people say to support black owned businesses, they are not saying do not support white owned businesses because it's not a thing. <laughs> those companies are doing fine <laughs> so anyway that was what finally put me over the edge so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you made it this far you obviously enjoy watching us i mean you're sitting here watching her eat coconut chips so please hit subscribe i have i can <laughs> see my analytics like 80 percent of my viewers don't subscribe so why according to youtube statistics 99.9% .9 of you are not subscribed. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> we know your names. We know your addresses. We'll find you. 
I'm gonna make a video that's just like three and a half minutes of Vivian Wei eating coconut chips. <laughs> <laughs> All the audio's cut out, it's just like... Do, 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 do. Right now, I have 81 subscribers and that is so not a round number, so help me out. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe, like I just said, over and over again, and I'll see you again next week.